Right then guys, welcome back to another video and today we are doing a Walsall FC season review 1819. Before we get into this, can we get 20 likes on this video? That would be much appreciated, but this season hasn't been good enough from the players up to the board, hasn't been good enough. Um, the board once again haven't invested in the club. Um, the manager, Dean Keats, got sacked in March, but tactically didn't know what he's doing. Football was rubbish. But, yeah, <clears throat> it hasn't been good enough. The players have got to take some responsibility. Um, they haven't showed what they can do for the club. <coughs> but, um, yeah, obviously, uh, Dean Keats got sacked in March. Martin O'Connor came, came in. Hasn't done much, but what are you expecting? Hasn't managed... Um, a team ever, but um, next season we just got a rebuild in League Two. It's not a nice league to go in because you never know. It's always that drop going into the conference, which some teams have couldn't get it, can can't get out of that league. But I, I'm positive. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be positive next season, and hopefully we can start in not stale. Um, get promoted next season because we need to. But we need to get the right team for League One if we're gonna our rounds to get promoted. Um, getting in a good manager will help. Um, Key Phil, Dennis Wise, and Paul Lurst have been linked with the job. I'd take um, Key Phil. Um, can work with low budget and um, plays football the right way and got two teams up to League One. But um, I'm going to go with player of the season now. Um, my player of the season would be George Dobson. I think he's been brilliant. Um, People say he's been too inconsistent, but like all the players have been too inconsistent. Um, maybe Sefer Kinsella, but I like what Dobson's about. Um, obviously, he got into a 2021 contract, which really will help for our club the, for next season. Um, hopefully, we can hold on to him because I reckon there'll be a lot of clubs interested with Dobson. But um, close contender to second, I'd say Kinsella. Also, been brilliant. Work rate is absolutely brilliant. I can't fault that. His tackling is also absolutely brilliant. 50-50 balls, he'll win them. Um, and he's out of contract, so any League One club will be looking for him. But um, hopefully we can sign him up on a new contract next season. Like I said, it hasn't been good enough this season. But we got off to a really good start, which surprised everyone. Um, Ten games unbeaten. We were like... We could do something this season, but obviously that hasn't turned out. I think we had a very sticky um, Christmas spell, December, January, February. Um, we had teams around us that we needed to win against, but we haven't got them wins. But games like Luton and Sunderland, if we'd have held it out for the three points, we might have had a chance. We'd have been on 51 points, which um, I think Wimbledon got 50, so we'd have gone above them in the end of the day but um like I said we need to rebuild for next season. Um to be honest we haven't had we haven't been good enough all season. Our team is not good enough. Um having the likes of Andy Cook in there to be honest all the fans love him but I'm not a big fan of him. Um doesn't offer too much to the team and Osborne on the bench. So these are not League One players players we're bringing in Scott Laird who couldn't even get in the forest green team we were in league two so um the signings haven't helped out this season but um there's some tough teams in league two um Mansfield obviously finished four so if they don't get promoted that'll be a tough game um Oldham they're still in there they got relegated last season so that could happen to us maybe but Hopefully not. The other three teams that got relegated with us was obviously Bradford, already confirmed with the last game, but also Scunthorpe and Plymouth got relegated. Both they um, Plymouth won on the last game, three two, but Southend and Wimbledon got results that stayed all. I think Plymouth went down on goal difference and Scunthorpe finished just below us, but um, they'll be tough. They'll be up there next season, Plymouth and Bradford. And also Scunthorpe, but hopefully we can be up there. I think next season, um, well, I'll do a League Two predictions video. But but if we can get in some good players, maybe push for playoffs in the playoffs. I don't know about automatic promotion because there is some good League Two teams and it's hard to get out of that league. But 
obviously we need the right manager, right players in, and hopefully um, we can just um, get the players out who don't want to play for the club at the moment. So thanks for the support on all the videos this season. I really do appreciate it. I will be vlogging in League 2 next season. Don't worry about that. But um, like I said, we need to... We need to get back for playing our way of football under the Dean Smith era. That's what the board came out after, straight after the game. Uh, we had a club statement release, but um, they're just saying they're apologising to the fans, which I hope they should be. But um, we need to be playing out from the back next season. Um, we should be in that promotion push for next season. But obviously, like I just said, there'll be a League Two predictions video out. But if you've got any video ideas for pre season, Put them down in the comments and I'll have a look and see if I can do some of them. But um, dev I'm still devastated that um, Shrewsbury kind of relegated us, but I can't really admit it because, to be honest, even if we'd have won, we'd have still got relegated. But um, like I said, thank you for the support um, this season. I really do appreciate it. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Can we get 20 likes for this video? That'd be amazing. So yeah, up the Saddlers.